The Air Force's head of acquisition, Will Roper, announced a very compelling update in an exclusive interview with Defense News in conjunction with the Air Force Association's Virtual Air, Space, and Cyber Conference. The U.S. Air Force made the surprise announcement that it had secretly designed, built, and flown a brand new sixth generation fighter in just one year. The Air Force hasn't said anything on how the fighter actually looks like, but has stated that it was created under the Next Generation Air Dominance Program. Viewers may note that NGAD program aims to build an air superiority fighter that will supplement the F-22 Raptor and eventually replace it. It was also indicated that the prototype has broken records. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. is surging ahead in the development of sixth generation fighter while Russia and China are struggling with fifth generation one. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. A sixth generation fighter is supposed to take some of the features of fifth generation fighters like stealth to the next level as well as add more. Though at an early stage of R&D, several distinct characteristics common to nearly all nations' sixth generation fighter concepts have emerged. One, more modular design going beyond wing hardpoints with primary aircraft components able to be swapped out within hours to optimize for mission requirements and easing the introduction of future upgrades. 2. Single-seat-only cockpits with training occurring mostly in simulators. 3. Optionally manned with same airframe capable of conducting remote-controlled or AI-controlled missions. 4. Controlling a swarm of drones acting in both a defensive and reconnaissance role for the controlling fighter. 5. Battlefield data fusion with the aircraft, acting as a network node capable of receiving and relaying data to multiple other platforms such as other aircraft, ground vehicles, or satellites and processing that data on board to dynamically generate new target lists or update mission parameters on the fly. 6. Increased range standoff weapons with the drones conducting reconnaissance within enemy airspace and supplying targeting data to the fighter which remains safely outside enemy airspace. 7. Greater electrical power generation to enable equipping directed energy weapons such as a laser close-in weapon system. This would enable the jet to intercept incoming missiles. 8. Virtual cockpit helmet mounted display allowing the pilot 360 degree vision and doing away with cockpit displays. As per reports, the Air Force first developed a virtual version of the jet and then proceeded to build and fly a full-size prototype complete with mission systems. The pace of work for each stage must have been exceptionally quick since all these have been achieved in a year. For comparison, the F-35 needed around 10 years to reach this stage. As of now, there is no information on who has designed the 6th Gen fighter and if more than one prototype is built. Since this kind of program is very complex, we can assume that it will most likely be one of the aerospace behemoths – Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, or Boeing. The U.S. Air Force formulated the NGAD to ensure the service's air dominance in future conflicts when facing the fighters of rivals 
and hence it can be derived that the new fighter will most likely be developed with focus on air-to-air -air combat. There's almost no information on what are the capabilities of the jet, what features are already developed, and what's in the pipeline. There is one theory as per which the U.S. Air Force has been serving artistic renders of the new jet for years and hiding the secret in plain sight. The Aviationist has published a series of several images released by the U.S. Air Force over the years and the design could well be that of the new fighter. The service has released several photos of a stealthy-looking, arrowhead-shaped craft that looks like a B-2A Spirit bomber from some aspect and lacks vertical stabilizers. The basic aircraft design is featured in an image celebrating the 73rd anniversary of the Air Force's founding and the Air Force Research Lab also displayed a similar-looking plane. Interestingly, the Air Force released another similar image on Instagram and an aircraft with essentially the same contours was shown by Northrop Grumman in a video released in 2016. Russian President Vladimir Putin last year revealed that a procurement plan is being laid out for acquiring 76 Su-57s. The announcement was made during a meeting on May 15, 2019. These jets are expected to be deployed by 2028. The Kremlin previously planned to have 150 of these aircraft in service by 2020. Viewers may note that the Su-57 program had the backing of India. India was looking for a customized variant of Su-57 for its Air Force and it put in significant funding. India wanted to acquire around 150 jets. In April 2018, India pulled out of the project. The main reasons were engine issues and unconvincing stealth characteristics. Su-57 is currently suffering due to engine problems. Sukhoi originally planned to use an advanced derivative of the Saturn AL-31F engine, found on its flankers, for the Su-57. Su-57 was supposed to have new AL-41F1 engines. But the AL-41 F1 engine ran into technical difficulty and didn't match the required performance criteria. Saturn, the manufacturer, is working on a new and more powerful design known as the Isdali 30 or Product 30. But even this has been facing developmental challenges and may be available for testing at some point in the 2020s. China currently has only 28 J-20 of which eight are initial prototypes. Just like the Su-57, the Chengdu J-20 is having engine problems. China has not perfected its indigenous WS-10, which is used for its flanker clones, Shenyang J-11 and J-15, and is finding it difficult to finish the development of the next generation WS-15 it would need for the J-20. Viewers may know J-11 and J-15 are illegal copies of Russian Su-27 and Su-33, respectively. Without the WS-15 engine, the J-20 can't cruise at supersonic speeds. The Chengdu J-20 is currently thought to be powered by twin Russian-built Saturn AL-31F engines found on the Sukhoi Su-27 and its Chinese knockoffs. The Chengdu J-20 also seemed to have issues with stealth, like its Russian counterpart, and reports indicated that Russian-made Sukhoi Su-30 MKI of the Indian Air Force managed to detect the Chinese Chengdu J-20 jet fighter without any issue. F-22 Raptor is still considered to be the most potent fighter in the world and the U.S. has around 180 of these. It's to be noted that even today, F-22 can't be exported to any country as per federal law, which is a stark contrast to the F-35 program. A jet built to replace the Raptor will be leaps and bounds ahead of anything the world has seen, and this will essentially mean the U.S. Air Force will continue to dominate the skies in the foreseeable future. A super-fast design and development work 
indicates that U.S. military and aerospace giants like Northrop Grumman may be utilizing AI for this purpose. This has massive ramification as it could spill over to other services like construction of warships for the U.S. Navy. It remains to be seen how things pan out and this would be one of the most awaited stories to follow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.